Hey guys, Jim Bobbin here, and Tim is talking about the top five most known number monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. So first of all, guys, we have number 39, Utopia. Uh, its effect is when a uh, player's monster declares an attack, you can detach one XYZ material from this card and negate the attack. When this card has target attack, while well, it has no materials, destroy this card. So this, for people who don't know, this was kind of like the main card. It was like... Uh, the card that was received from Aster, and it's in uh, Yuma's Possession, which was like the main character in Zexal, which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, overall this card now is pretty, it's it's not that good. It has a good has a good amount of attack and defense, which is not that bad. But then again, it, it can just be obliterated by card effects and stuff like that, which is the problem. Uh, so like, you feed a Shane that card, it's done. That's like a problem. Like, if you use Skill Drain, that card's done pretty much. Uh... Other than it's a uh, decent amount of attack, it's pretty much done, which is the problem. Uh, then what we have is number 34, Terabyte. Uh, this is pretty much a card that was used for the teacher in the series or whatever. It was like this teacher that teach them. And he used like crash bugs and stuff like that. Uh, and got this, he like used this card. He was like possessed by a number or whatever because everybody in the series was possessed by a number. Uh, well, not every person, but like certain people are possessed. And, uh, yeah, he just has this card, so it's number 34 terabyte, like I said before. Its effect is once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, and then target one level four or lower, attack position, monster your opponent controls, and pretty much uh, gain control of that card till the end of the phase, which is pretty good. So, people would pretty much summon this card in defense mode. It wouldn't be that bad to have in defense mode, because it does have a lot of defense points. Uh, but then again, if it does go in attack when it's screwed, and also, this card is pretty much... It's not that bad, but there's other cards that can do this. Oh, there's just spell or trap cards. Well, not trap cards. I think there's just spell cards that can do this. Uh, or just other simple card effects. Instead of having three level three monsters, it's a little bit difficult to get three level three monsters. Uh, which is the problem. If it was two level three monsters, eh, that would be that would be a little bit better. Uh, then we have number 62, Galaxy Eyes, Prime uh, Photon Dragon. Uh, this card has a long attack. If this card is attacked or is attacked during the damage calculation, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Uh, once per turn, once per battle, this card gains attack equal to the combined ranks of all XYZs uh, currently on the field times 200. Uh, during the damage calculation only, if this card, uh, if this card in its owner's uh, control is destroyed by battle by a card effect, will gal will card effect. Uh, if this card is destroyed by opponent's card effect, well, it has galaxy eyes. Uh, Photon Dragon as X material. You can special summon this card after your second standby phase. After uh, after activation, it doubles its attack. Any battle damage this card uh, inflicts to your opponent is halved unless you have Galaxy Eyes. Photon Dragon has an X Y Z material beside it. So it's a, it's a pretty good card. It has a lot of attack points, defense points. It does require two level eight monsters. But overall, it's a decent card. It's really good against fighting pretty much any X Y Z or number of cards, which is pretty cool. Uh, and other than that, it doesn't really have anything protecting it, unfortunately. So it could be destroyed by Phoenix Chain or anything like that. But overall, it's all, all it's a not bad card. Then we have number, uh, uh, what's it called? 85 uh, Crazy Box. This is a pretty cool card. It has multiple effects. This card cannot attack, so it does have a decent amount of attack points, which is sweet. So it's just standing there protecting you. Uh, you can detach one XYZ material, roll six out of die, and then apply the roll. It's one, half your life points, two, draw one card. Three, your opponent discards one card. Uh, four, negate the effects of one face-up card on the field until the end of this turn. Uh, five, destroy uh, a card on the field. Six, destroy this card. Uh, so it's a pretty, it's not a bad card. Like it, it's pretty risky to operate because uh, uh, pretty much the effects. Uh, so number six, uh, the six. If you roll the six, it's bad. Uh, then if you roll one, it's bad. So you pretty much have a two to six chance of rolling something bad. And then a 4 out of 6 chance of rolling something good. So it is playing a risk, uh, which is the problem. And, like, you could get a 6 out at the beginning of your turn. And you'll be like, oh, I, s I summed this card and it has no use now because it just got destroyed. So now you're, like, open for attack or you're just in big trouble, which is a problem. Uh, then we have number 7, Lucky Straight. Um, this is a pretty cool card. Uh, it was, like, used by this guy who pretty much uh, wanted, like, the luck to help his, like, I don't know if it was his sister or somebody he knew or something like that, 
uh, get for surgery or something like that and like not die from the surgery because it was a low chance it was a high chance of her dying and stuff like that from the surgery and with this card it promises like luck and like ha when you have this card with a certain other card like it's legend or something like that it will always roll but that's not the case in actual doing it and stuff like that so it's a fact is you can detach uh what what uh, actually before i read it's a uh, fact it requires three level seven monsters, which is really expensive, and it has so little attack and defense, which is a big problem. You can roll uh pretty much a uh you can attach one x by zero, roll a six headed die twice, and if this card becomes attacked, the larger number uh this uh so pretty much its attack becomes uh six times uh, six hundred until your opponent's uh next end phase. Uh, then pretty much if you roll a seven, you can apply one of these effects. The total roll was exactly seven. You can apply one effect. Send all other cards in the field to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand or graveyard. Draw three cards, then discard two cards. Before, uh, in like the Zexel series, its effect was if it actually rolls. I think it was a six. If you roll a six, they changed it now. But before it was like a six. Uh, you could multiply your life points by I think it was six hundred or something like that. Uh, but then you would have to roll a six like. Like, you could constantly do it over and over again, if you'd like. And he got up to, like, a ton of life points, which is really crazy. Uh, yeah, overall, it's, uh, it, this is, these cards are pretty good. Uh, this guy's used by Yuma. This guy was used by a teacher. This guy was used with, like, the number hunter. This guy, I forget who he was used. I think he was used by some kind of possessed guy who was obsessed with luck or something like that. I don't even know. But then this guy was, uh, obsessive with luck or whatever, too, so... Yeah, overall, uh, these are not that bad cards. They are extremely weak in terms of, like, Fetus Chain or just cards that destroy them and stuff like that. Uh, they do have decent amount of attack points, but then again, uh, like, attack or defense points. But they are, like, weak to targeted card effects, like I said before, or just being destroyed by card effects and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're all enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to the Jimbo Cop Network. For 70% really share, guys. But that's me, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later.